Hi everybody, it's time for one of my um, low budget <laughs> tutorial videos. Um, now this one is about if you have problems when you install an external USB 3 SSD to your computer for a USB lead and you find that your computer doesn't recognize it as a usable drive and also or, or you may have this as a slightly different problem um, when you go into Steam in order to use that drive as an installation drive um, or to move uh, games to it Steam doesn't recognize it and doesn't let you do that so let's avoid all this terrible cable management I have and go to my computer apologize that I have to use this like this like <laughs> with my mobile phone but it's the only real way I can do these so first things first if you plug your USB in drive and it doesn't appear as a new volume. So in other words, you only see your existing hard drive. So I, originally I had two hard drives and I added that one. Um, but you do see, for example, when you go down to the bottom and you'll have, you click on the USB thing, it will say eject your hard drive. So the computer can kind of see the hard drive, but it doesn't see, see it as a storage drive. What we basically need to do is, is format the drive. Um, so if you click down here and, and type in uh, format, oh sorry I'm trying to do this, see it says create and format hard disk partitions, so you click on that and it will come up with all your drives, like you can see here. And what you'll see is the one down the bottom will, will probably be the new one and it won't have a name, it might just say t disk 2 or something like that and it won't have any of this NTFS stuff. And then when you right click it, it will say something like create a simple partition and that's what you want to do. So in my case, the SSD I got, I previously used it on my PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation had used its own special formatting which means that when I plugged it into my computer, my computer went, well I don't know what this is. So I had to create a new simple partition of the whole thing. Just just click through, follow whatever it says, and then it, it will it delete everything on the drive, obviously. And then it'll mean you'll then have, it'll take it a while to do it. It takes a few seconds to do it, especially on a large drive like this that's a gigabyte. And then you'll get a ba bing and it will appear as a new volume. So then you can start using it like any other drive. However, there's a chance Steam won't recognize it. So for example, when you're in Steam and you go to a game, and you'll go to uh, properties, and then you go to uh, is it properties? Properties, general updates, language, beta control. Nope, it's not that one. Oh, it's because I haven't got it installed. Let me pick a game that's actually installed. So let's go to say PUBG, right? And we go uh, properties. There we go. And we say move install folder. You won't see your new drive. So my, that's my, my, so this is on my new drive, but you won't, you won't see it here. Um, let's choose a different one that's not on that drive. Um, so what, what do we say? PUBG Battlegrounds, PUBG test server, uh, Hell Let Loose. So let's say Hell Let Loose, right? So we go um, properties and then local files, move install folder. And you click on this and you won't be able to see it now also sometimes you can have problems with steam where the, the font size is wrong and you can't see all different options if that's the case um i'll, I'll show you what to do in a second as well basically you, you want to put your, your monitor it to its highest resolution um, and then reset the font size but as you can see we can now see volume e so i could move that over if i wanted to in fact, i do so i'm going to click on that i'm going to say move so that's going to it's going to do that um, but in order to get uh, Steam to recognize the, the drive, you need to go to Steam up here, Settings, and then you need to go to Downloads, Steam Library Folders, and click on Plus. So you can see there's my new one there because I've already done it. But you click on Plus, and then it will show you the drives so that you, then you can add your new volume as a, as a Steam. It'll basically add a Steam library folder to it. So then you can use that folder then to download games to or to move other games to as well. Um, so that's how you do all that stuff. So hopefully that's helped. So a quick one about the, the font size, and that's basically an interface. So what the problem I had is that when I would go into some of these menus, I couldn't see all the drop-down stuff. 
So what I did was I went into here, I untick scale text and icons to match monitor settings. Um, I put my monitor up to its highest setting, which is um, 1440p, restarted it, and then although everything's a bit smaller, which, which you know looks kind of nice, but for recording purposes, for capture purposes, I, I capture it 1080p. Um, but I could see what I needed to see in, in order to be able to move these uh, things around. So there we go. Hopefully that's been useful. If it has been, hit like. Again, apologise. I really do apologise for the way that I've got to do these videos on my mobile phone, but it's about the only way I can do them quickly. Um, and I'll see you again soon.